Hi everybody in my TSTO Harry Potter group and YouTube channel. Okay, so this is going to be the second video in the Quidditch tutorial. So this video here is on the position, the beater. It's a little bit harder than chaser. Um, it's not my particular favorite as in choices, but you still have to do them to progress in the storyline. So let's play a Quidditch match and I'll kind of explain it as we go along. That's how you learn, just by playing it. And I haven't played this in about a year. At least Quidditch. One, two, and three. I did perfect that time. Very nice. But if you, the best thing is if you can win a few of them, then it gives you a little leeway if you fail. And these are kind of like the nice ones. They're not timed. It's all about perfect. It's all about getting at the right time. That's what I find with me. I find that I don't do it at the right time and then I mess up. One, two, three, four. Just like that. And you just keep doing, keep doing them like that. Now, I haven't played in a long while, so I tend to move fast. So that's how you play this one. It's not the easiest one to do, but if you just keep playing it, you'll eventually perfect it. It's just like anything else, practice. So that was the position of Beater. So that's the second one. So that's the end of this video. Just little short little tutorials to help people that are new to this game. Because it can be confusing and scary sometimes to play uh, in there. And at least if you watch the videos, you'll understand a little bit more how it works because... Sometimes you're timed, sometimes you're not. There's a little countdown timer. You just got to pay attention to that. Well, that's the end of this video here. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I enjoy doing a lot of these. They're a lot of fun. And until... So don't forget, like the video, subscribe to my channel for more content. And until next time, happy tapping because this is the way.